Hello world, it is Monday, October 3rd, 2011. Hope everybody's having a great start to their week so far. Um, it is a cold and miserable day in stores, Connecticut. So, let's get started. Let's not beat around the bush here. And today I'm going to be doing my review of the first season of Archer. I started watching on Netflix, and I'm not going to spoil anything now. What I'm going to say is going to be in my review. So, Archer is tells is about the super spy Sterling Mallory Archer, whose codename is Duchess. He works in this corporation called ISIS, which is a private spying company. He's an he's their top field agent. He's an expert in hand to hand combat, firearms, driving, you name it. He's like James Bond. However, Archer is also a womanizing, selfish alcoholic with little to no morals. He would essentially be, the best way to describe Sterling Archer would be if James Bond were American. So, the show Archer, at least the first season, the second season does is also, I watched a few episodes of the second season. It's just about Archer's work at ISIS, his relationship with his equally selfish, alcoholic mother, who also happens to be his boss, and the relationship with his co-workers, especially his fellow field agent and former girlfriend, Lana Kane. So here's what's really good about Archer. It is morally depraved, like in terms of the characters. Nearly the entire main cast are essentially horrible people, with either no morals or they have really disturbing vices, like being choked during sex, like in the case of Cheryl. It's a sh if it's a show, if you like shows like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and Arrested Development, then Archer has a very similar sense of humor, and you probably appreciate this show greatly. Hell, I know I did. I thought the show was absolutely hilarious, partially because of how morally depraved the characters are. Another thing that's really good about Archer, he kind of brings in this concept of Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland is this theater slash improv technique in which during a scene, one person will play a straight man while the entire cast play, while the rest of the people in the scene play as a certain character. In the case of Archer, the one person playing the straight, by one person playing the straight man, not only does this emphasize the other character straight, like traits, but it also the straight man's and woman's reaction to their insanity at an extra level of humor. This works really well, well in Archer as Lana Kane, Archer's ex-girlfriend and field partner, is the straight person. She's essentially the normal person in the show. And the insanity of her co-workers around her is just by, you know, and it, by her being so normal, it highlights her own co-worker's insanity and makes the show that much more hilarious. Because seeing Lana so normal in comparison to everybody else is just absolutely hilarious. Another thing that's really interesting about Archer is that <clears throat> is the fact that it shows kind of like the bureaucracy of the spy organization. I mean, when we see spy shows or spy movies, we just see the spy going somewhere, finding and shooting and saving the world. Like in James Bond, uh, he only spends about like five minutes at MI6 getting briefed by M, hitting on Money Penny, and making fun of Q and his gadgets. <clears throat> so Archer instead, he they, they kind of show the bureaucracy behind ISIS. Um, the only field the only main field agents you see are Archer and Lana. And they actually spend very little time in this first season actually in the field. So a vast majority of the first season spent in the office of ISIS and the relationships between the characters. So the other characters are Mallory Archer, who is the head of ISIS, Cyril, the accountant with trust issues and is a sex addict, Pam, who's the head of HR, who will have sex with anyone at anything, uh, Cheryl, who's Mallory's secretary, who, like I said, is um, <laughs> likes to be choked during sex, and Dr. Krieger, who is the head of R&D at ISIS, who is batshit insane. So. I mean, the best way that I can describe Archer as a whole is just, it's, f at least the first season of Archer, it's just fucking hilarious. With an excellent cast of characters, with the, and they have the right personalities to just make the show, a show like this, work. And it works really well, and it's really hilarious. And I will recommend it to anyone. So, that's pretty much it for today. Um, I'm sorry I didn't do a list last week. Uh, I didn't get around the time to it. Last week was kind of, uh... What's well, interesting, I was sick last week, I had, I was so behind on my homework and everything because I was sick and feeling like crap. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm not 100% there yet, but I am feeling a whole hell of a lot better. And 
yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So I will try to do a list this week. I'll try to get around to it. And, um, yeah, so I will hope to see you guys sometime later on during the week. All right, peace.